Okay, guys, I'm back with part five of my siphon filter playthrough. Um, I guess about a week ago I started shooting these videos, so I don't know how long it's going to take me. Um, basically, you know, I took a couple days off from playing. Um, I actually went and played through some of the levels, as you can see. Um, but I just wanted to take a break um, from playing. Sorry. Um, now I'm back tonight uh, doing, I'm going to do part five, see how long this takes. You know, I um, just want to, you know, kind of frustrated today and everything. You know, had kind of a bad day, you know, hearing about Jeff Speakman and stuff like that. So, just, yeah, just want to play, get some frustration out. So, uh, let's get started. We're going to start with the stronghold lower level. So, let's go. I'm finding Farcom and WHO shipping containers everywhere. Rover and Fagan must have been working on something big. Stay focused on the mission. Don't get distracted. Okay, so we came down an elevator like you saw in the last part of the video. So now we're on, I guess, the second level of the catacomb, not catac catacombs? Yeah, catacombs, stronghold, stronghold, oh shit, stronghold. Um, so basically, we're moving deeper within this cathedral, and our objectives are the same as last time. Kill scientists, find, uh, and administer antigen to four subjects, find security key cards, uh, find entrance to the catacombs. So we're on the lower level. So let's get started. And I'm sure all these guys are going to have flak jackets like in the last level. That guy didn't. That's a good thing. Fucker shot me. <laughs> Get all my ammo. Got our first subject here. Fucker. Fucker. Fraker from Death Wish 3. <laughs> Oi, I wish I was dead. <laughs> that was from The Simpsons when they did Death Wish 9, where Charles Bronson was in a nursing home. Ah, fuck, he's got a flag jacket. Fuckers! All these fuckers be shooting me. Kill him, kill him. Eight scientists left to kill. See, I, like I said, I think all the guys here got flak jackets. Well, sometimes the scientists have guns, so. You dead, you dead, I kill you, I kill you. I don't think there's anything in this room here. No. Just that guy. Okay, so now we go down here. And I think we have to go this way, but... We're gonna go in here first, but I think first there's ammo up there. So I wanna get... Not here, but... And that fucker's got a flag. Alright, now we got... Let's use shotgun. That hurt. You know that hurt. <laughs> I got a shotgun to the first. <laughs> yeah, so I started shooting these videos 
think last week I started. So uh, like I said, I don't know how long it's going to take me to do the whole game. And then I'll just upload it probably like once a night, one part a night. When it's all said and done. Yeah, there's just some ammo up here. Well, we'll take a 45. Take that. And some PK-102. And, like, you know, I talked about Jeff Speakman. You know, I, sh I shot that video, you know, earlier today. About that. You know. Or when you're watching this, it'll probably be a couple weeks later after I'd shot that. So. Is that where I'm going to go? No. Um, I think there's, yeah, in here there's, um, we gotta climb up here. Cause there's a secret room in there. Which I always forget about when I play. But when I played through, you know, I just playing some, just playing the game. Why is it, like, lagging? You know, I, I forgot that this was here, so. I think there's some guys down here. No? Okay. Ooh, we do have another test subject. Save me. I am. I'm sorry. No. Oh, there's a box. What's this? What's this? We could use gas grenades. Is there a box in here? I forgot to look. No, there is not. Okay, my. And then we're gonna climb up here. I'll just do that for fun, just to hear him load the shotgun. Yeah, and then we have to climb up here. There's another room. Because this room you can access. Let's shoot this guy in the head. This room you can access through. There's a, the exits over there, but the room we were just in, you cannot. You have to climb up and, um, well, right here is the exit. Fuck. Oh, no. Exits. Yeah, in there. Cool. I think there's a scientist in here. Yeah. Oh, fucker's got a gun. And I think he's got a key card. Yep. No? Okay. No? But it took a flak jacket from him. Shit, now I'm hurt. Shit, I'm hurt, man. Or shit, man, I'm hurt. That's from Death Wish 3 as well. I've been wanting to break those out and watch them, Death Wish. Because I downloaded... Well, I bought the... I bought... The, Another copy of Death Wish 2, and then I bought a Death Wish 4, and it was on a triple feature video, all three movies on one tape, which I showed in my VHS update um, that I got around, I got myself for Christmas. And then I downloaded Death Wish 5, because it's in widescreen, I downloaded the widescreen version because the DVD's not, and then I downloaded the Greek VHS version of Death Wish 2 because it's got it's the extended version of the movie it's got more scenes and unfortunately the violation sequences are extended but you know I always fast forward that when I watch Death Wish because I don't like watching those scenes and I don't say you know I don't say rape I say violation because I don't like the word rape so 
Fucker, there's two fuckers. Got a, I got an idea. Might not work, but three? There's three? Must be a glutton for punishment. Let's shoot these. See if that does anything. I killed one. So that's a good sign. He didn't have a flak jacket. And that guy didn't either. Cool. Um, how do we get up there? Well, he had ammo. What's this? Flak jacket. Well, we could use one. I guess we, uh, we'll get up there later. That's right. So we want to climb in here. Getting a massage. I think I know how they've been moving the virus. They must be injecting new strains into the test subjects here and using Fagan's expedition center as a cover for transporting the bodies. They could be shipping these carrier bodies all over the world. Copy. I already have a team searching for Fagan's warehouse and shipping center. ETA to Rover's holding cells? I'm working on it. I think this is the last subject. Yep. So we're done that objective. He didn't have a flak jacket. The other did. The other dude did. Oh, you can't climb up there? Oh man, I thought you could. Oh well. That would have been cool. I don't know if there. Well, what's this? Flak jacket? No, we could use. We could use some ammo. Okay. Wait, I got gas grenades, don't I? Shit! I don't need a flashlight. I don't need that. Ain't nobody got time for that. No. Fuck, didn't get him. I'll go over here, I'll probably get him. Didn't know that guy was there. I think there's a door. Is there a door in here? 
think we have to come here first. Yeah. We could well let's use this first. Haven't used this in a little bit. I saw a scientist. We don't need that at the moment. Don't need a flak jacket. I think he has a key card. Yes. So I came to the right spot first. Usually I get confused and go to the wrong spot. But not today. Today I did it right. Tonight rather. Whatever. Yeah, but it's like almost 2 o'clock and I got to work at 11. I stayed up all night last night. Slept all day. So I'm not really tired. I'm probably going to try to take a nap or something. We'll see. I'm a night owl. I like to stay up all night. You know, it's quiet. I enjoy the quiet. Okay, so now we have to come up here. Black jacket. Could you shotgun shells? I think there's a professor. Yeah. Professor, whatever you want to call him, mad scientist guy. Drinking my ice cold motherfucking Mountain Dew. We have to go here for I think there's more scientists. This away. Yeah. Ew. You trying to suck my dick, you homo? I don't want you sucking my dick. Another key card. What's this? Oh, we have full ammo for that. Fucker! We did not die. That was good. Oh, I could have shot all the glass because that's all poison. But that's alright. That's all good. So, how many scientists we have to get to? else be hiding in there. Get off of there! You hurt yourself. <laughs> Open this door. Stop shooting me, fuckers! Killed him and I died. Son of a bitch.
Why is he breaking glass? Is he gonna fight Tong Po? I mean, is that what he's gonna do? <laughs> is this Muay Thai? I want Tong Po! Give me Tong Po! That's what killed me. Get off of there. <laughs> Listen to your player controller thing, whatever. <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna get some flak jackets. We got shot this shit. Look, his ass is bleeding. He got shot in the ass. of the catacombs, but I don't see a way down. You'll have to find a way outside and work your way around on the ground. You know what that means. Why is there a random box here? We don't even need a flak jacket right now. Do we shoot it? Let's find out. Oh, he disappeared. Yeah! I'm pretty sure that would not happen in real life. <laughs> but it was still pretty damn cool. There's a guy right here. Yeah. Oh, he didn't have a flak jacket. I thought he did. See what I mean? Saying what I'm saying? Yeah, there's like a guy in every freaking corner.
Yeah, then these fuckers throw fucking grenades. here. Die, fucker. Give me your ammo, bitch. this because it's a little bit stronger. Try to use this sparingly. Yeah, there's guys that throw fucking grenades in here. Oh. Fuck, I got blown up. What the fucking fuck? Fucker. This is the hard part of the level, so hopefully it doesn't take me a fucking hour to beat it. Yeah, and the fucking Ravens won the Super Bowl. Lottie frickin' da! Now you gotta hear everybody, you're gonna hear everybody brag for a year. Ooh, wow. Yeah, wow, my God. Nobody cares. Dead. Dead. Come back. Thank you. Black hole sun. <laughs> I don't know. I just felt like saying black hole sun. Like I said, today was kind of a bummer, you know, because of finding out some, you know, Jeff Speakman. But the good, the, you know, the great news is that they say that his prognosis is very good. They, they so, you know, I hope that that is true. I hope that everything, you know, works out fine. Because, like I said, he was doing a, he was trying to make a comeback in the movies. I guess the guy blew himself up. Um, he was doing, I think it was a movie about Dracula. I think Rutger Hauer's in it as well, and um, a bunch of other people are supposed to be in it. Uh, I think that's the movie that he was working on. But yeah, I mean, I hope that Sly, you know, hears about this and decides to put him in Expendables 3. 
Yes. Objective complete. You know, I'd love to see Jeff Speakman in the perfect or in the perfect weapon. Perfect weapon two. I mean, they, well, you know, they could do that, but um, but Expendables three definitely. You know, Jeff Speakman all the way, in my mind. You know, that would be that would be awesome. Oh fuck me running. He killed himself. Ha <laughs> ha. Fart knocker. <laughs> but where was I before I got into the grenade spiel? Uh, Jeff Speakman. Yes, Jeff Speakman, you know, in uh, Expendables 3. I'm definitely down for that concept. Because um, I know, I think Sly put a thing... I don't think it was on Facebook, but... I think it was his website, or he put it somewhere that they were, you know, he wanted people, he wanted feedback from the fans about people that they wanted to see in Expendables 3, and Jeff Speakman, I think, was on the top of the list, you know, which definitely, I, I, I think that he definitely deserves to be in Expendables 3. Because, you know, he's such an underrated martial artist, you know, action hero. You know, he got screwed over by Hollywood and everything. So I, I just, I think that he uh, rightfully deserves to be in Expendables 3. Along with a lot of other people. Like Don the Dragon Wilson, I think would be a good candidate. What are you doing, Fob? You standing there getting shot? Yeah, fuck. Yeah, Don the Dragon Wilson, Lorenzo Lamas, Cynthia Rothrock, I think would be a good candidate. Um, a lot of people would be good candidates. The Boz, Brian Bosworth. You know, a lot, of, a lot of people, there's a lot of action heroes. Thomas Ian Griffith's another one um, that never really got a shot. Because that's what Sly said. I remember him saying that he, he tries to get people that, you know, um, that kind of faded out. You know, like, because he, I know he called Michael Bean from Terminator and Aliens um, for Expendables 2. And he said, hey, you want to be in the movie? And Michael Bean's like, you know, I don't... He kind of got rude about it. He's like, I don't need a big movie to make a comeback. And I'm, I thought that was kind of rude. But, you know, maybe that's just his personality. I, I'm, I don't know. Never met Michael Bean. I'd like to. I mean, I'm a big fan of him and uh, Terminator and uh, Aliens and The Abyss. He was a great villain in The Abyss. And, um... Navy Seals I liked with uh, him and Charlie Sheen I thought it made had good had a good chemistry and a, they were a good team and he did a movie called Time Bomb which I heard was actually pretty good that I'd like to see all right so let's not fuck up and die this time. <laughs> Um, and another thing I think for Expendables 3 that they should do because they haven't in the first two movies and I think they kind of need it now to keep the series going is they need at least one guy who's played James Bond in Expendables 3. I don't care. I know they talked to Sean Connery but he said the same thing that he said for Indiana Jones 4. I'm retired. I'm not coming back. Um, which, you know, that's cool. You know. I mean, I would like to have seen him in Indiana Jones 4. Um, that would have been great. But, you know, and in Expendables, that would have been cool. But you need at least one guy to play James... Or, you know, at least one guy that has played James Bond in the movie. 
Um, and not Daniel Craig. Like, not taking anything away from Daniel Craig, but, you know, he's too new, you know. You have to have one of the older guys um, to be in it. I don't think Roger Moore is going to come back because that guy's like, what, 85? I don't think he's going to run around shooting people. But if they put Clint Eastwood, who knows? Anything's possible if Clint joins. But... Okay, I didn't die. See, that's, that's what I do. I gotta talk. I gotta talk to you guys. That'll help me not die. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, if Clint Eastwood's doing it, maybe Roger Moore or maybe Sean Connery will reconsider. Who knows? But Roger Moore probably won't, and George Lazenby probably won't. So you need either Timothy Dalton or Pierce Brosnan or both. How cool would that be to have both of them in the movie? I know I have grenades, so let's use them. Three, there's two more left. There's one up top. See if there's any ammo and stuff. But yeah, like I was saying, I think at this point they need, like I said, at least one guy who's played James Bond to be in the series to make the, to make it keep going. You know, I know I didn't talk about that in my action video. You know, my thoughts on the action genre. Okay, so 38 minutes in, just gonna play through. Not gonna save. Um, just gonna keep checking the time here. Um, now this is a stealth mission down in the catacombs, so... Security has been breached. Romek has ordered that the prisoners be eliminated. Take care of the old man. I'll wait here. And me? All of Romer's underground security is palm print activated. You must follow the guard and let him open the cell. If you are seen, you won't be able to get in. Have any back standing by. It won't be long. Okay. Um, we have no silenced pistol ammo, so we have to use the sniper rifle at first. But this is a silent mission, like the, they said. Um, we have to be quiet, so we're going to do that. And we have to follow a scientist. Oh, we have 9mm ammo? Well, we're going to use this up first. Uh, we have to follow a scientist down here in the catacombs. And now they're going to kill Fagan, so we have to stop that from happening. Um, and this level was actually, pr this part is actually pretty simple. If you could just follow this guy, you know, let him get ahead a little bit, you know, and follow him. The next part is kind of tricky, you know, it's kind of a pain in the ass. Um, so we're just going to play it cool, and hopefully we'll be all right. So, yeah, we basically, you want to hide in the shadows in this one. You want to follow this guy the scientist um, so we can find out where Fagan is but you know if you stay back a little bit and you hide here in the shadows everything will be cool shoot that guy don't need a flak jacket I think we have if we do we have any gas grenades left okay we will be okay then because there's a not here, but up ahead, there's two guards that we have to kill. And we can't, you know, do a double shot, you know, because this game won't let you do up here. 
There's two guards. So we're going to have to use a gas grenade, but we have to wait till he gets ahead. Like I said, if you hide here in the shadows, you'll be okay. So we just kind of want to see the scientists there. Kind of just want to wait. Should be okay now. Kill both of them. Yeah, he's ahead. Uh, but we don't want to go straight ahead. Um, that's kind of closed off. I'm going to collect all the guys' ammo because we will need it in the next part. I think there's a guy. There was a guy walking down here, but I guess not. Well, he might be around this corner. Yeah, they walk up the stairs and stuff, so you got to be, you know, very quiet. But like I said, if you hide here in the dark, you know, it's not a big deal. Or it, you know, it's 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 easier to beat the level. He's walking this way. Yeah. Run up there quick, give us some time. I don't know if this is smart. Oh, okay. Thought he was going to die. So yeah, we want to come here. Yeah, there's a guard. So you heard that, <laughs> so the door open. So we just have to kill this guard. I think we'll be okay. Get his ammo and this is, we could use, oh, we're at max. I think we'll be okay. Yeah, cool. Be with a sniper rifle. I've never done Please that before. Don't kill me. Just relax. This won't hurt a bit. I'll pay you. How much do you want? <clears throat> that was cool. Thank God. Shut up, Fagan. Move. I have him. I'll give him 30 seconds to give you the location of the computers, then eliminate him. No, wait a minute. You don't understand. You Thousands don't... of people are dead, Fagan, because of you. 26. Wait, you don't understand. Time's up. Where are the sequencing computers? An abandoned Soviet missile silo in Kazakhstan. Beneath an old warehouse district, all right? All right? Did you copy that? Yeah, copy. I've got a strike force ready to move in. Get to the evac point. I'm sending in a retrieval unit. What about Fagan? Take him with you. Let's go. Wait, let me go. Your partner, she's alive. Leon, you're lying. Move. She is alive. Robert's men brought her here five days ago. I don't believe you. Promise to let me go, and I'll lead you to it. Show me. Show me the meaning of being lonely. Okay, so now we don't have to to be quiet anymore, so we're just gonna... Ah, fuck. Forgot. So now we have to follow Fagan, like I said... You know, in another part that he would come back in the game, and he does. So this, you know, this part's kind of annoying. You know, I, I, I really hate these kind of levels in video games. Oh, 
where you have to follow characters and they don't have guns. If they have guns, it's one thing, but when you're doing these stupid babysitting missions, I really think it kind of, you know, brings the game down a little bit. So I hate, you know, this mission. Fuck. Maybe I should not use the handgun in the 45. Follow me. Use this first since we have full ammo. See how much that gun uses, you know, it goes quick. The Glock, it's like. It's the same thing as our handgun, except it's fully automatic. You know, fires three rounds at once, you know. And I hate when they stand here like this. You just want to shoot them. Go, Fagan, run. Run, white boy. Checkpoint. See, not everybody has a flak jacket, which is annoying. I think this guy does. Yeah, let's get that. No, this way. Okay, I gotta kill people so they don't kill you, asshole. Fuck. Alright, so if I beat this, try to beat this part, this, well, this is like the second part of the level. Thank you. 
you. No, this way. Hold on, damn it. Yeah. Giving orders, huh, Sarge? God bless me. <laughs> this way. Look, and then he fucking crouches down. So he's in your line of fire. I hate that. Well, I went back to see what that box was, but it's something I didn't need. So, yeah. Die already. Oh. Fuck. Motherfucker. Oh. Alright, so I'm just gonna stop here because, you know, the camera's about to run out and then I'll just pick up right where I left off for part, you know, part us. That'll be part six then. So this is part five. So I'll see you guys in part six. Sorry for not being talkative, but yeah. All right, see ya.